You're not allowed to import Tunisian currency. One U.S. dollar is about 500 dinar. One din dinar equals 1,000 millimenes. You have to fill in a customs and currency declaration for which you also need when you're leaving the country. Don't lose it. Please don't declare rings, watches, cameras, just high valuables and your foreign money. Make use of the Hilton Hotel services, such as rent a car for exploring Tunisia on your own. Note that breakfast service at the Hilton is slow, since 125 people would like to eat at the same time. For your information, part of the Patton movie was made at the ancient Carthaginian town of Utica, near Bizerte. Utica is quite a Phoenician treasure for archaeologists and historians. There's no arranged tour, and you have to do it on your own. It's 50 miles from Tunis. Carthage was about 20 miles outside, or 20 miles from our hotel, as I recall. And there are the ruins of Carthage, one of the uh, native faces. I think he was just a tourist from somewhere in the North African area on the bus. Souvenirs of Carthage with a Kodak sign. Sightseeing tour will start on Saturday, February 19th at 10 o'clock and will end at 6 p.m. at the Hilton Hotel. Be clients who wish to stay downtown have to arrange their own transportation back to the hotel, which we did. It was just a taxi ride back. Local tours will be conducted by our Tunisian travel agent in English. Some good information is provided by the Women's Club of Tunis. Their book is on sale at the Hilton Hotel and is called Tunisia Portfolio. Tunisian guides not always speak fluent English, but we think we have the best guide in town. There's some of the Corinthian columns. Adri walking in her leather suit. Again, the wind was blowing off the Mediterranean, quite chilly. We're not, um, well, we're maybe 100 miles from the Atlas Mountains where the pipes that carried the water to Carthage came from. There still are aqueducts, Roman-type aqueducts built 2,000 years ago that are still standing there, probably still could be used. There's very little bargaining in the bazaar called souks of Tunis, unlike other oriental places. Local tours and prices are not made by us, but by our Tunisian travel agent, and you cannot bargain on them. Literature will be available at the Hilton Hotel. Clothes? Yes, please. Informal but warm because of sometimes cold winds. Average temperature 60 degrees to 75, but further announcements, please look at the bulletin board of the hotel lobby every day. Some more of the Carthaginian ruins overlooking the sea. Uh, departure, have your bags ready outside the room at 5 o'clock on Sunday. Aircraft takes off at 8 o'clock. Offering a Sunday tour when the bazaar is closed at the cost of $16 a person. 180 miles of driving on good roads which include transportation guidance and historical explanation entrance into archaeological sites plus lunch in Kairouan. There's a uh, cross-section of the drills, drilling that they did through marble and uh, the, carried the water. They actually had hot and cold running water in Carthage. Quite uh, an impressive. There's some of the archaeological digs and findings. In Kairouan you will see the Holy Muslim City which was founded in the 9th century AD. It was a cultural and religious center of the Arab Empire in the West. The Grand Mosque is a masterpiece of refined and detailed Arab splendor. I think I'll read that when we get to it. some of the uh, greenery around Carthage. Oh, I think this is the um, the public toilets, which was one of the favorite places for the politicians to do their speeches. They had sort of a captive audience, you might say. The reservoirs, I was saying, uh, were in Carthage and they brought water from maybe 100 to 200 miles away from the Atlas Mountains and they had heaters running that actually had hot water running into the baths in the homes and the wealthy 
marketeers and politicians' homes in Carthage. Beautiful sunny day. I think that's Vikik and Harvey Farhat. With names like that, you would think they were from some faraway place, but they actually were from uh, Minnesota. A couple we met that were on the tour with us. Here's a uh, donkey-drawn two-wheeled carriage, truck equivalent. A lot of animal power. Habib Bourguiba is the president, was the president of Tunisia. I think he still is. Oh, and these are the beautiful whitewashed buildings. One of the um, seaside suburbs of Tunis. Lemon tree alongside the road. A little bit bigger fruit than we had in Boca Raton. Lovely scenery. Just the picture postcard scene right here, looking down. Stars on the doors. I don't think that depicted anything uh, Jewish. It was just the designs. In fact, that's the Muslim Turkish star, moon and star up on the top. There's Adri. Uh, we went to the building right behind where she's standing on the top of those steps and had some tea. Sweet flavored tea. Quite good. They had a uh, custom of painting the shutters and the balconies a fairly bright, bright blue. There's Bourguiba, President Bourguiba. We were, that sign I took was Avenue Bourguiba. He was, loved himself a lot. This guy was selling um, carpets off the back of that donkey. He had five or six carpets there that he's sitting on. Quite nice. He was selling them. Asking you to pay him money for the pictures that were taken of him. Made a few dollars. Donkey was very sturdy. And there's the street scene, the donkey guy going down the street. Real tourist area. Lady in her face mask. It's an artistic shot looking through the shrubbery where we were having tea towards the ocean. Beautiful Arabian night side sight. Now there is a postcard. Some very wealthy people in Tunisia living right on the ocean. Several acres of land. Look at these buildings. Gorgeous. This is reel number 33 that I'm taping right now. It's a 400 foot reel. We shot this on our trip February 1972. Beautiful scenes in Tunisia. Let me get the controls here. Oh, that was a funny one. People drinking tea and smoking their water pipes. And there is someone taking my camera and shooting the two of us. Got my pipe and mustache and leather coat. Oh, and there's the um, guy I was saying before. What was his name? Harvey Farhat. I think they were in the military. Or they might have been teachers in, in Europe. Just holding your dress over her face as a veil. There's one of the stadiums that Bourguiba had built. Soccer. A lot of soccer played in the country. Their national sport view of the city there. Minaret Tower calling the faithful to worship. Facing towards Mecca to pray six times a day. There's the bazaar now. Had an ashtray stamped out here. Habibi was the name of the guy. There he is. He's making Oh, he's making a cup there, but I think that's the guy that we asked to make our ashtray. Maybe not. 